Hey everybody, in this episode we're going to talk about adjustable friction savers and how they can be beneficial to work positioning. Um, if you are doing something like topping a tree or if you are, um, I don't know, you're taking chunks down of the stem, just bringing it down slowly one by one. Um, we're all familiar with pretension and how that can cause a tree to buck a climber around um, from all the you know potential energy that gets released. And this, if you're you know if something like that happens and you're on a lanyard, then you know you're just kind of like at the mercy of the tree. You could potentially find yourself at the bottom. Um, you know, I've seen videos of climbers getting whipped around like a pinwheel, and uh, that's not good. So what this does is it cinches down around the tree. So the harder you get bucked, or the harder you fall, the harder this is going to grab around the tree. And that's really cool because, you know, I mean, then you just you don't have to worry about getting you know, um, knocked off your tie-in point, you know what I mean? Um, that's really, it's a huge bonus. Um, now, when you want to use these, um, they're basically a length of cord, of uh, rope, with one French Prusik on it, um, and it's got two rings of different size, and you when you install them for a tie, as a tie-in point, you want to make sure that you always leave a fist length or width um, between each ring. That way, it has plenty of room to cinch down. You know, because these ropes stretch, and you know this is not completely solid. So when it cinches down, it's gonna you know come in more than you would you might expect. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, this is how you would use it in a moving rope system. Um, you could have it organized like this on your bridge. And that's usually my personal favorite. Um, you can also... Certainly, you know... Connect to your lower D's or your side D's. Something like that is acceptable. Um, so no matter how you connect yourself, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And there's it's hugely beneficial to climb this way. It's the, actually the ANSI approved method. So um, now, Another thing you can do is, um, first of all, when you're using these, if you aren't going to go anywhere for a good amount of time, like maybe even 15 minutes, I'd say, just put a quick um, stopper knot right below the French Prusik. That way, it won't, it won't come undone um, prematurely, and that could be a lifesaver. Um, it's not that hard to just take a half hitch out. And um, another thing that you can do is you can, um, there are on the market another item called pulley savers. They're very similar to the friction saver, the regular friction saver. In, they differ in one way and that is instead of the small ring they have um, a pulley on it and so I don't have a pulley saver as you can see however that doesn't mean I can't make one so what I can do is use my 
OmniBlock and this Notch Quickie to basically bring this in below the um, ring that's there. You don't want it above it. And then I can install this. Oops, got caught in my glove. Install this, and now I can take my rope out of the friction saver. So then now what I can do is I can I can install this as a pulley saver simply by opening the pulley. Putting my rope into the pulley. And then feeding the other end through the big hole. Adjusting this again so that you know there's a there's that separation that you want. About a fist length. And then now I am good to go. All right, so there's that. These things are kind of a pain to put on, you can see. Um, but it's worth, the, it's worth all the work. Uh, now you can see this is really not going to be beneficial to anyone if they're just chunking down a tree or if they're, you know, just topping a tree. But if you still have limbs below you, you can do, you know, limb walks like this and have very low friction, you know, situation. And that could be really um, helpful to someone. Um, and another way that you can use this is you can use it SRS, um, single rope. And now I have to do another quick changeover, but you'll see, it's worth it. So, I have, I'm gonna take the friction saver down for a minute. You can imagine that one way to do the SRS would be to do it through the small, put the rope through the small ring and then put the rope through the big ring and then, you know, you, I'll show you, you block it. Um, but we're going to pretend that I already showed you that method, that the only difference between the method I'm trying to tell you about is that it went through the ring, the rope, but I'm going to show you how to do it with um, a pulley. So. That way you can learn both and I don't have to do a massive changeover. Um, so, should have been working while I was talking. <laughs> Actually, I'll just...
Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, you can put it through either the small ring or like I'm doing um, a pulley. And you'll see why I'm doing a pulley in just a second. Um, and then next, bring it through the big ring. Adjust it. Okay, and then now at this point, I'm going to put in an alpine butterfly. Okay. Okay, so I've got the alpine butterfly, and then let it go until it jams into either, whatever, depending on whatever you use, if you use the pulley or the um, ring, just either or, and so now that you've done this, you can do it SRS, of course you want to Clip carabiner through here, and then clip the carabiner to itself. And now that frees me up to So I'm attaching my rope runner as an example. That's the thing about friction savers, if you're not putting your weight into it, it could just easily, you know, come undone. Okay, sorry about that. Now, with this setup, I can be on my rope runner and have the benefit, two benefits. I'm Now, when you're using a system like this, with um, a single rope, you want to make sure you go kind of, you want it always at like an angle, like that. That way it cinches properly. A double rope, you know, it gets even force from both sides, but with a single rope, you want to make sure that you kind of go off to the side. And so, yeah. And the benefit of not putting it through the ring and using the cookie and doing the pulley instead is if you were to do a bunch of, you know, redirects, you could easily pull every the all the rope down because of the mechanical advantage you'd have with the um, friction saver. Uh, that's assuming the friction saver doesn't move when you pull on it because it's now getting pulled in the opposite direction. So, you know. Not a lot of people are going to do this, it's just kind of like a niche, like, idea. Uh, I'm just kind of brainstorming here, but for the most part, you're going to want to put it, put the rope through the small ring instead. Um, so yeah, this has been my uh, piece on adjustable cinching friction savers, and I hope you found it useful and insightful. 
If you like this video, please hit like. If you don't like it, then I'm sorry. Um, I'll do better. And uh, comments are welcome. And yeah, let me uh, let me abseil down to my stop button on my camera.